her ideas unique, justified and individual, her process intriguing, technical and well executed, her work visual, stimulating and exciting. What I want to do with a painting is establish this relationship of now, you know, that you are actually in the moment in front of a painting and something happens. What I want to happen is that the space between the painting and the viewer gets activated and it activates the viewer to uh, form a relationship. So the painting almost hovers in front of itself between the viewer and the canvas. Charlene von Hale, born in Germany in the 1960s, is a renowned contemporary art practitioner who specializes mostly in abstract expressionism. Von Hale's unconventional methods and different uses of mixed media have catapulted this young artist to the forefront of modern contemporary art. Von Hale has exhibited her artwork in many cities across the world, including New York City, Frankfurt, Berlin and Athens to name but a few. I was lucky enough to visit Von Hale's most recent exhibition at the Tate Liverpool. Her larger than life paintings are a representation of the artist's mood. Each piece of artwork highlights the artist's individuality. Some express happiness, others express sadness, anger and frustration. Her outlook on art is focused on the execution more so than the final outcome. It's safe to say that Von Hale's finalised artworks are as much to her a surprise as the viewers. If you do create something, you do design it. So I do see the paintings as designed. But then there is this one moment of the unknown where it, it slips through my design possibilities. And that's where it actually kind of makes itself. Excited by the idea of the unknown, the idea of what will come next, Von Hale's unique sense of creativity intrigues me. While studying the different uses of line in each of her exhibited pieces, the composition of each shape, the different colours used, and how easily juxtaposed everything was. Is this an example of Von Hale's spontaneity? I well thought out process or a moment of controlled chaos. A lot of painting comes from frustration. You know, like uh, how often does it happen that a painting is there in five minutes? And when it doesn't happen, I will have to build it up and build it down and destroy it and work it up again. Carefully everything that looks as if it's really fast, uh, doing that really slow and reversing the values. The next move, it's going to be a move that's counterintuitive because I know that I'm going to get more out of it by having a juxtaposition that I don't understand myself. Out of that friction comes charge, you know, like I can charge the work through the different steps of building it up. And until I have it again at a point where I look at it and think, how the fuck did I do that? <laughs> That's kind of what I want to get at.